Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be making a picnic table. So as you can see here, I have already been using the evolution saw and I have uh, cut out the leg and the other leg is laying over here. But we did a X shape, we cut 40s on the edges and then for this inside cut right here to connect it with the other piece, we cut a uh, five degree angle. And that gave us the correct geometry to make these legs. And uh, I've never done this before, so it was a lot of trial and error. But uh, it wasn't too bad. Um, the overall height when this is going to be standing on the ground is going to be 28 inches to the top of the metal right here. So we'll be also adding a piece of angle iron right here across the top to screw down the wood to. It won't be this long. I have to cut this still. And then uh, we're going to be using the 2x6s that I burned in the last video to uh, put on top of this. So let's get right to work. Now that the X's and Texas have been X'd, the next thing we have to do is add this piece of angle iron up here on top. It'll be sitting just like that. I beveled the edges so whenever you slide in here, you won't hit your leg on that. And then the wood will be sitting on top. So we are going to be uh, tacking this up here on both pieces and uh, getting this thing ready to be put together. Now that we got the pieces of angle iron welded on, the next thing we are going to be doing is standing this thing up and welding it together. All I'm going to do is put a little piece of pipe or rebar or something right here in the middle, in the middle of that one, stand it up out here, and then we will be putting the um, cross beams on for the picnic table um, seats. So let's get this thing stood up and tacked on. Now that we have the frame welded together and standing, the next thing to do is put in the bench seats. So that's what this piece of uh, score tubing is and that one over there. I cut the 45 degree bevels in both ends just to make it look a little bit more appealing. But um, they are 56, no, 55 and a half inches long. I left a half inch over for the boards so no one cuts their fingers on the edge or anything. And they're gonna be capped anyway. So we're gonna mark the middle of these, set them up there, tack them on and uh, get to welding them up. As you can see here we have the frame of the picnic table set out next thing we need to do is start cutting up the wood we are going to be cutting to six foot six i've already cut two of them because i was using them for a reference so uh we're gonna go over here to the chop saw and start cutting them So the wood is on the table, it's looking very nice. The uh, only problem is when you sit down, it's not too stable because the legs aren't too far or aren't far enough apart. So what we're gonna do is put a piece of flat strap on both ends and this will fix our problem. So let's get this taken back apart, tacked up, and uh, we'll get this thing painted. You can see here, we got it painted and we got the bottom piece on down here. We went with angle iron instead, just because it's a little bit stronger and um, the uh, flat metal was not working. So, the first thing I've done so far after I painted it was I got the first board on here. Uh, starting in the middle, I'm going to work my way out. So uh, putting two self-tapping screws in it, two inch, and uh, we're going to get this thing knocked out real quick. So I'm going to put you all on time lapse and get one side done.
And that's gonna be a wrap to this video. Here's a, uh, another look of the picnic table. Everything came out well. I am uh, I sprayed uh, clear coat over the top of the screw so those won't rot. Maybe here in the future, I'll probably uh, fill them full of wood putty, but I just wanna make sure the uh, screws aren't gonna pull out. But as you can see here, you can pick up the whole bench with it. So I uh, have high expectations for the screws. I think they'll be fine. So uh, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.